Hello, this is a follow-up to part 15 of the Protogen Head series. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to edit this into a longer video or just release it by itself. This is pretty low effort. I'm doing this handheld with one camera and one microphone, which is only recording into the left audio channel because of the way I'm setting it up. So we'll see how it goes. This is also recorded in 4K, so we'll also see how that goes. So since last time, I uh, decided I wanted to redo where the wires come out on the head instead of being up around here where I was originally thinking I was gonna do them. I decided I wanted them off to the side over here just so the wires going from here to the board, which is currently not installed, but it would end up about here. Just so those wires wouldn't be like coming off of the top here and then inter like having to deal with the visor and stuff. Um, so, I had to replace the white and the gray wires for them to be long enough to get over to here. Everything else was already long enough. Uh, but I just, you know, routed it around, retaped everything, uh, kind of have a little bit of a mess in the stuff back there because I wasn't entirely sure how long they needed to be before I cut them to solder them. But then I soldered everything onto those pin headers and uh, used some heat shrink on every single one of those wires there and then just used a big dollop of hot glue to um, get it attached here onto the head frame and that seems like it should be secure enough. It's not really moving. I have them slightly at an angle towards the inside to uh, make it a little bit easier. I can't tell what it's focusing on. Yeah, this should uh, this sh should be good. I test. I had previously tested this all, had it all hooked up, everything was still working. So that's um, that's the current status. Uh, I wanted to record a quick update for this right now because I think tonight I'm going to go try to get some foam and figure out how to get foam on the top here and that would obviously cover the wires. Obviously it's not gonna cover this connector because that would kind of defeat the point of having a connector, but it would at least cover these wires. So I just wanted to get a quick little update before I did that and then these wires would never be seen again, hopefully. Hello, it's about 20 minutes after the previous segment. Um, I am probably just gonna upload this by itself now. But this is um, what I've come up with as a very like rough placement of foam. I cut, so, th so I have a whole bunch of this, I don't know, inch thick uh, foam, upholstery foam type stuff. This is about maybe half the width of it. And it's, it's big. I'd show you, but uh, that side of the room's a mess. So I have a lot of it. So I figured I'd just cut a piece off and just start with it. What I did was I cut this in maybe, maybe about a third of th the thickness, maybe half to a third thickness, because this as it is was just way too thick. Uh, put it in here. This is all just very lightly hot glued in here for now. It's just like six tack, tack welds to hold it on. But uh, so a piece here on the top that leaves the connector clear, doesn't need to go down on the other side. And then a couple little like cheat guards on these uh, rear brackets that I can move out of the way to still get to the screws to take everything apart. Um, same kind of thing, these are about third thickness of the main sheet. Uh, very, very approximate positions. Did a test fit. I'm, this, this little corner here that doesn't have foam on it, I'm gonna have to like make L pieces of foam here uh, and then like actually properly measure this stuff and make it look nicer. I'm also thinking I might wanna coat the inside of this with latex as well or maybe just you know, like the entire thing, just put latex around this just to give it a nice internal surface. I don't know, just a thought. I might not do that to start and I can always go back and do that again later because hot glue is relatively easy to remove. Uh, but did a test fit, it all seemed to work fairly well. Um, and I suppose this weekend I'm gonna go through and like try to properly measure up everything and cut the good pieces and then glue them in more permanently. Uh, I thought I had something else I wanted to mention, but I don't remember it now. Oh, right. Uh, I did consider before I completely cut all the way through this piece when it was still just a th the thick piece, 
uh, that only had a slit in it, I tried sliding it over the edge here to like have some on the top and some on the bottom because I'm like, you know, maybe it would ni look nicer to have a nice fuller head because I, when I was looking at the previous video, I'm like, that doesn't, I don't like that head shape. But unfortunately, uh, even very, very thin pieces of foam block the capacitive touch sensors, so I can't really cover these at all with foam. What I might do instead is like have a, a tapered piece come in on the on an angle here. So a little, it's, it's still not gonna be able to be the full thickness of the whole thing, but like, you know, the third thickness down here, maybe another third thickness up here, but tapers down to a point right before these so I can get a little bit of a ridge. And I was also thinking I would want the, the, the foam to come off the back here and like down the sides and like kind of shape a head on that just to make it look bigger and better than just my relatively small head on the back of this frame. Uh, but this is all I'm gonna do tonight. I have an idea of what I wanna do probably on Saturday, uh, but it's getting it's getting to be nine o'clock now. I might go try to edit this really quick, but I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on it tonight. I wanna have some time to relax tonight. So um, that's, that's it for this little like mini part update. Um, hopefully another update in about a week with more stuff, per more semi-permanently attached here than just tack welds. Um, so stick around and thanks for watching.